I think the advent of technology has uh, had a profound effect on in, in the way in which people make work. Not least because you're carrying this uh, quite sophisticated camera around all the time so you can take sample images and you can interact with the world. But we've gone from a kind of single point perspective idea which is sort of tied up with photography into a more networked idea that things have multiple meanings and things are connected to other things. Making work and showing it in a, in a non-linear format, uh, people are much more fluent in that idea of being able to read between images and connections between things and this kind of network idea of where meaning emerges, you know, rather than being posited in a single piece. I'm trying to make work that's integrated with the dynamic of the world, that's connected with the, the dynamics of the world. When I did the studio wall drawings originally, the whole purpose was about honesty. It was the idea that as human beings, we're intellectual some of the time, we're artistic some of the time, we're just silly and stupid and vegging out in front of the TV other times. So I wanted this, the widest possible kind of uh, depiction of what, of what the passage of time is for a human being. The reason that um, they work when they get a critical mass over a certain number is you begin to recognise that uh, diversity of um, experience. You know, we can be looking at a sunset and be meditating on beauty, or we can have some terrible tragedy or something in our lives. And the way in which we view an image or the way in which we um, approach art making will be radically different dependent on all these outsiding factors. I think all the interesting things that happen as an artist happen on the periphery between control and chaos. So you're, you're being surprised every day, not just by your own practice, but by the world itself. And a painting that you did 20 years ago has a very different meaning today than it did at the time you were making it. Artists always exist in this curious place in time and space. You are in the moment when you're making the work and you're making it for a future audience that will see this object as the past. So you have to occupy all three past, present and future at the same time. And it's that that's a kind of a magical experience. And that's where all creativity comes from.